groupers are very vulnerable to fishing because of three aspects of their biology. The first is that they um, become sexually mature very late, and so they have a low population replacement rate. The second aspect is they have this uh, type of biology called hermaphroditism. It means they change their sex. So small fish are females, large fish are males. If you fish for large fish, you have a bias towards the smaller fish, which are the females. So it unbalances the sex ratio of the population. And the third thing is they aggregate to spawn, to reproduce, which means they come together at very predictable times and places. And those times and places are very good for fishermen uh, to catch the fish, and they can fish out the whole aggregation um, within a very short period of time, and the populations will decline, and the fishery will disappear. The aggregation is the only time that the reef fish reproduce. If they can't reproduce, you don't have the next generation. If you don't have the next generation, you don't have the fishery and you don't have the food and you can't support the livelihoods. So the aggregations are an incredibly important key part of the marine ecosystem. Let's take an economic analogy. You know, if you manage your money well, you put your capital in the bank and you live off the interest, you leave your capital there. We can think of spawning aggregations in the same way, that the adults that go to the aggregation are the capital, and the eggs and the young that they produce are the interest. So really we need to be managing the capital, keep the aggregations and the adults safe, and live off the interest by fishing at other times of the year. Aggregations can be protected by conventional fishery management tools, that's one approach. Another approach is to use marine protected areas, but actually have the aggregation as the focus of that marine protected area, and then um, protect an area around the aggregation. That would be a very good way to protect the aggregation itself, and also the catchment area around the aggregation.